Okay, so family can be like the most fucked up people on earth and I just wanted to make this quick video about it. Um, I'm going to get straight to the point because I tend to talk a lot and never get to the fucking point. So here it goes. So my uncle, I live in Washington and my uh, uncle lived in California. So my uncle passed away recently and... We don't really have, I love my uncle growing up. He was so good to me. He was like a great person and a great role model. So I, I don't have, I have good memories of him. And so with my other like aunts and uncles and stuff, I mean, we all went our separate ways. Like we, you know, my family, my immediate family moved over here and they stayed over there. So we literally have like no contact with these people. Um, so anyway, I don't know what's up their ass, but they didn't tell us, well, they didn't tell me and a couple other family members that my uncle was sick. So some of the people in my family that they approve of or they like, I don't fucking know. I don't care about what they think. I care about my uncle, you know? So they told some family members and they were able to go to California to say goodbye to my uncle. Well, I didn't find out about this until he was already he had already passed so they're like oh yeah you know your mom's over there already or whatever or your sister or whatever and I'm just like oh cool like I didn't get a chance to go say goodbye to my uncle you know for him to see and know that we're there you know at the end of the day does it matter where we were or what happened with our lives like we're there and we acknowledge you and we know and we love you and we're here to say goodbye to you and, and we know about you. We care about you, you know, so I didn't get a chance to do that. I didn't say anything because I'm like, at the end of the day, I know they're grieving. I know that I'm hurt. I'm I'm hurt. And I know that, you know, other, other people that spend a lot of time with them are, you know, it's even worse, you know. Um, so I just didn't say anything. I was like, whatever, you know, I, I left it alone. And then, you know, they just, they just call me and they're just like, you know, I want you to know that uncle passed away. I was a little bothered by that. But like I said, at the end of the day, I just wanted to let everybody grieve or whatever. And, um, anyway, mind you, we're like in a different state. So if we want to go over there, we got to get plane tickets and stuff like that. So they didn't say anything. They, they didn't say anything to us. They didn't, you know, at least to me, I'm going to speak for myself. Okay. For other, I'm not going to speak for anybody else. I'm going to speak for myself. So they didn't tell me anything about, you know, the funeral, the arrangements or anything like that. And then they say, oh, um, okay. So then I get a, I get a message from somebody and they're like, oh, well, uncle's funeral is going to be coming soon. And they expect everyone to donate $1,500 towards the uh, funeral cost. That fucking set me off. That just fucking pissed me off. It wasn't the fact, you know, initially, whatever they did, I was like, whatever, you know, everybody's grieving everybody, you know, I'm just going to leave it alone. But when they said, you know, I'm like, I'm personally like not hurting for money. You know, I'm not saying I have money or anything like that, but I'm not hurting for money. And when I got that message and they were like, we expect everyone, you know, the whole family to donate $1,500 each towards the cost. And I'm like, bitch, are you fucking serious? Are you serious? You don't tell anybody about this person passing away. You don't tell them about you know, what's going on, but you want money. You want fucking money. That's how family is. That's how family is. And I'm not saying like the immediate family, but sometimes your family are the ones that want to fuck you and hurt you the most. And I was just like, fuck you guys. Like I'm not doing shit. And then they messaged me the day before his funeral, which was a couple days ago. And they're like, oh, by the way, tomorrow is uncle's funeral. And it's like, it doesn't help me at all because they told me at night and I couldn't go over there. But at the end of the day, you know, do I really want to go over there and grieve in front of these people? Do I really want to go over there and cry in front of these people? Like my uncle's not here anymore. My uncle's not here and I hope my uncle knows that I had a lot of respect for him. 
I hope my uncle knows that I had a lot of respect for him and that I, I loved him very much. And every time that his name came up, I had nothing but good things to say about him. So I know it's really important for people to go to a funeral and to go say your last goodbyes and stuff like that. But you know, that's just his body. That's just the body that they use to walk earth and they're not here anymore. So when you get together in a funeral, you know, you and your whole family get together and you hug each other and you know, you say goodbye to the person that you love so much. But at the end of the day, the only thing I would have appreciated was to go while he was alive and say, hey, I'm here. I remember you. I love you. And I have nothing but good things to say about you. The funeral part, that's just for the family. That's not for him. You know, the funeral part, it's 100% for the family. And I have to look at it that way. I have to look at it that way to be okay with people doing these things to other people just out of vengeance, just because they want to. But, you know, when they were asking for money and they weren't really telling you anything, I thought that's, that was very shitty. And uh, if you guys are having the same issue or ever have the same issue, remember the whole funeral is for you guys. The whole funeral is for your families to get together and cry. And the way that I look at it, it's like, I don't want to go over there and cry in front of these people. I don't want to go over there and grieve in front of these people. I can grieve just fine at home. And remember the good memories that I had with my uncle. And remember the good memories, all the good times that he like protected me. And all the times that, you know, he would tell my mom to like, Stop being a bitch, that she's wrong, you know, and I have nothing but good things to say about my uncle. I wish I would have been there to say goodbye to you. I'm not, you know, I'm not upset about the fact that I didn't get to go grieve over there um, in front of everybody that half of the people don't even like us anyway. Um, I'm upset about the fact that I didn't get to say goodbye because nobody said anything and then you ask for money. And then you don't ask for a donation. You put a number on it. Fuck you and fuck everybody. And if you guys go through the same shit, think positive. Think, you know, I can be at home and, and cry and go to sleep. I don't have to be over there in front of everybody and be fake. So um, I love you guys. Anyway, I just wanted it. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was pretty shitty. But at the end of the day, my uncle, when my name came up, he knew I loved him. He knew um, that I wanted well for him. And wherever he's at, he knows that I love him and that he was like one of the best fucking uncles on earth. I didn't see you for the last couple of years because... We all have our own lives and we forget about family members and we forget about what's important. But like I said, when his name comes up, I have nothing but good things to say about him. And I know for a fact when my name comes up, he has nothing but good things to say about me. So anyway, I love you guys. Uh, have a good day.